Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm the painter of this video. Today I want to talk a little bit about acrylics and uh, the properties of uh, this medium. Um, so, if you are interested in uh, trying this, uh, if you haven't yet tried acrylics and you are interested in uh, painting with uh, them, then uh, stay with me at this video. I will try to explain uh, as much uh, as I can. Um, I used to paint in acrylics for uh, many, many years uh, as a student and uh, um, I'm very familiar with uh, the properties and how the medium behaves and I'll try to explain this as much as, I po as possible here. Um, you will see me painting these uh, clouds uh, here with uh, acrylics and uh, I hope you uh, stay with me, I hope you will find the video uh, useful and you will learn uh, something uh, out of this. So first of all I have to say that uh, acrylics is a rel relatively uh, new medium. It first appeared uh, um, uh, in the 50s uh, I believe. Uh, 1950s and uh, it's relatively um, contemporary a contemporary uh, medium it's um, a water-based medium that means that uh, it dries uh, very quickly and uh, in that way it is very very similar to egg tempera um, the painters who work with acrylics uh, know that uh, they have to work uh, fast, uh, pretty similar to the way that uh, iconographers and painters who use uh, egg tempera do, working and painting very very fast. That means that uh, it's not uh, as easy to uh, to blend uh, colors uh, when using acrylics. It's not uh, um, colors do not stay as wet as they do when we paint uh, in oil. They dry very very quickly, and it means that um, blending it's uh, much more difficult than, for example, uh, when you use uh, oils. That means that uh, similarly to egg tempera. Um, you have to work in uh, layers uh, instead of um, moving the color around as uh, we do when we paint with uh, oils. Of course, uh, it's a whole science uh, now, the, the science of uh, making uh, pigments and there are many many um, emulsions that <laughs> many uh, other medi mediums that you can add in uh, the acrylics and um, these uh, mediums uh, can help you manipulate uh, the color uh, in ways that uh, are very very similar to oils. Uh, you can um, delay the dryness, the drying time of uh, acrylics by adding some uh, other uh, mediums or you can uh, make uh, the, the color more uh, thick, the color more um, uh, let's say impasto and uh, work like that. So there are many ways uh, you can um, um, uh, it's, you can paint almost uh, everything using uh, acrylics since uh, there are uh, many products that you can uh, use and uh, make uh, acrylics uh, do whatever you like. The thing, uh, if I have to compare acrylics uh, to egg tempera, I would say that uh, yes, they have um, many similarities in terms of uh, the quick, as I said, they dry very quickly both of these two mediums. Um, but I would say that uh, egg tempera is uh, a much more uh, delicate um, medium to work with. It's much more um, silky if. Uh, um, if I can say that, um, people who work with egg tempera and acrylics understand the difference, uh, how delicate uh, egg tempera is. And um, for example, uh, here working with these clouds, uh, I would never use uh, egg tempera to work like this, uh, since uh, um, I use the, the color and the brush more aggressively and um, more uh, I... I um, I add some pressure on my brush and uh, this would harm uh, the, the layer of color if I did that with uh, egg tempera. Here uh, I know that acrylics are very durable, are very strong and um, 
they can accept uh, a lot of uh, brush pressure on uh, on them when they are uh, dry. More than that, they can accept uh, many many layers without me worrying that uh, there will be some uh, issues like uh, cracks or uh, that um, the layer upon the previous one will uh, uh, somehow destroy the, the previous layer. Things that uh, we have to take under consideration when we work with uh, egg tempera. So, uh, egg tempera is um, very delicate and uh, I would say that uh, also it's uh, a little bit more accurate than um, acrylics. Of course, many painters or many iconographers use acrylics to paint their icons and the result is really wonderful. You can uh, um, almost, uh, you, can know, you can see no difference between uh, egg tempera and acrylics. Um, and uh, but I would say that when I'm painting uh, an icon or um, in general I prefer uh, egg tempera these days since it's much more uh, accurate and uh, much more satisfying uh, to me. Um, of course I have to say though that um, acrylics uh, are very durable and they can uh, take um, more harsh conditions for example if you have to display to paint uh, uh, a painting that's gonna be displayed uh, in public or um, under the sun uh, in the open air I think it's better to work with acrylics uh, for sure better to work with acrylics than choose egg tempera if you have to paint an icon or anything like that um, that's gonna be displayed in public uh, just um, choose uh, acrylic um, <laughs> anyway I hope you are uh, well and you find this video useful um, you can also check my online course in uh, iconography uh, I will give you a link below in the description of this video and um, if you find this video um, interesting please uh, like the video and uh, if you haven't yet uh, consider subscribing Now, another thing about uh, acrylics is that uh, they are very bright colors and uh, they uh, sustain this brightness uh, even after they are uh, dry. Um, if I had to compare, uh, for example, acrylics with uh, oils, I would say that uh, acrylics are um, more bright uh, and uh, they tend to keep this uh, brightness for uh, many, many years. I've seen uh, paintings uh, uh, that I've painted um, and they are uh, like uh, 15 years old with uh, acrylics and more than that. And they truly are as if uh, they were painted uh, yesterday. So, you can master this, uh, this medium and um, uh, experiment uh, with this if you haven't and you will see many many beautiful uh, uh, results. Um, for many people acrylics is something uh, of a taboo, it's, uh, they consider them to be just uh, plastic. Um, of course it's, uh, it is plastic, it's not an organic uh, color, but um, as I said, by adding several mediums and several other uh, emulsion, em emulsions in them, um, you can create uh, any effect that uh, you desire. They are very, very uh, beautiful. Um, here uh, you see, of course, uh, this uh, me painting these clouds in a sped up uh, version. I will try to upload uh, um, the full version, a slower version, on my Patreon account. Um, and at this point, I want to really thank my patrons for supporting this channel. 
uh, if you like check my page uh, there and uh, um, I just want to um, to take a moment and thank my patrons for uh, really really helping uh, in the production of uh, these uh, free videos here on YouTube um, so uh, of course uh, acrylics are different to ectempera in terms of uh, their uh, the form they come uh, we use uh, acrylics from uh, tubes or uh, um, or vessels small vessels um, whereas uh, with ectempera we just use um, powder pigments that we uh, liquefy, liquefy with our egg uh, emul solution um, this uh, takes some uh, time to familiarize using uh, uh, acrylics from uh, tubes uh, but um, it's nothing uh, very very uh, difficult and uh, um, you have to consider that uh, when you use acrylics uh, you cannot really thin them down just with uh, plain water if you have to make very thin uh, glazes with acrylics you really have to add some other uh, emulsion in them just to keep them uh, uh, bright and to keep their um, glue power in general i would say that um, acrylics are uh, much different than uh, oils let's say just because they dry quickly and they are uh, water-based and um, if you are familiar with uh, tempera and egg tempera then it's uh, it's going to be very very easy for you to experiment with uh, acrylics so um, I would say I would I am always in favor of uh, uh, students and painters uh, experimenting and using different mediums and uh, it's always very satisfying to take risks and um, seeing what you can uh, produce what you can paint trying something completely new so feel free to just play a little bit with uh, your uh, um, your uh, new medium here and uh, try to see if uh, this will lead you to a place artistically to an interesting uh, place Many iconographers uh, use acrylics, of course, not only for uh, uh, portable icons, but also when they paint uh, large uh, canvases that uh, will be uh, applied on uh, glued on a church uh, wall. Uh, almost nobody uses a tempera on wall. It's nothing that we suggest. Uh, we, we don't suggest uh, uh, egg tempera for walls. We do suggest uh, uh, now nowadays working with these uh, plastic uh, colors, acrylic colors. They are very, as I said, uh, uh, they can take a lot of uh, um, pressure. They can take a lot of uh, harsh. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget the word. Um, they can take a lot of uh, humidity and uh, harsh uh, environment. Um, and uh, if you have to to paint something uh, large, go for uh, acrylics than uh, egg tempera. Anyway, this was uh, uh, my thoughts and my tips on uh, working with this uh, new medium. I will be glad if you experimented with that and I'm always happy to receive your work and um, learn uh, what you are painting and how is your studio life uh, thank you so much for being here um, I hope I will see you soon with another new with another video bye